okay what's up guys take me here today today i got a comparison and a speed test of these devices this is umidi g9 pro versus the poco m3 um let's look at the specification of this phone the a9 Pro is got 6 gig RAM, 128 gig RAM is running LU P60 processor, which is the MediaTek processor, and then the battery on the Umidi G A9 Pro is 4,050 million battery. The price as a present is about 150 pounds. Uh, on the other hand, the Poco M3, the Poco M3 got 6,000 million battery. I call this phone a budget king, you know, because of the battery and the performance. But I haven't put it head to head with this phone, so we're here to test the performance and the speed performance. Anyway, the processor on this phone is Snapdragon 662. So here is a budget Snapdragon versus a mid range uh, LU P60. Is there going to be any difference? Which is going to be faster? Don't forget the a9 Pro is got 6 gig RAM, while the Poco M3 is got 4 gig RAM. Octa cost CPU for both of them 64 gig RAM. And the storage for both devices is UFS 2.1. So, what I'm going to be doing, I want to compare this phone in speed, you know, which is going to load the app. I'm going to, I think I have 15 apps together. You know, I'm running, I'm going to run 50 apps side by side. So, I want to see which one is going to reload the application. You know, I'm going to leave them in the background, see which one reload, which one will stay in the memory. I do have a feeling that the 6 gig RAM on the UMIDG A9 Pro is an advantage to 4 gig RAM of the Poco M3. But then again, that doesn't matter. You know, from my previous video, I've done speed tests in the past, I think, 2-3 years ago. It does shows me that the RAM doesn't really matter. It's how the phone is being optimized to use the storage and the processor. So what I'm going to be doing, guys, I'm going to be launching the app. I want to try the first app. I'm going to launch Amazon. Let's see, Amazon Shopping. One, two, go. See, I don't know why this went to landscape, to be honest. Anyway, I don't know. Because it went to landscape, I don't know which one load first. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and open a product. Um, It's about the same time, if I'm not making a mistake. It's about the same time. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, let me pretend I want to buy this product. Let's see. Yeah, let's leave it here because if you reload, I'm gonna see this. So I'm gonna put this in the background. I'm gonna launch Netflix. Wow, the UMDG is taking advantage of the 6 gig RAM. Yeah, but definitely, the more you load application, the more the phones start to slow down, and the more you leave them in the background. Okay, ESPN. Still, the UMIDG, it launches first, but the images finish quickly. So, um, let's open an article. I'm going to open this. And it's about the same time. I will leave it here. Don't forget, we have to come back to this application to see which one is going to hold this in memory and which one will reload the application. So, um, home workout. So slow now on the Poco M3. It's getting slow now. Um, let's open this. Ah, uh, I'll, I'll leave it here. I'll leave it here. Okay. Um, CNN. Mm. Still, the Ubi A9 Pro is still beating the Poco M3. These are budget phone. This is LUP60 processor. This is Snapdragon 662 processor. There's going to be a bit of difference in the performance. Um, I'm going to open an article. Let's see. Um, I'll play this. So I'll leave it in the background. I want to come back to this. Now I want to stress the GPU mod. Well, we started to play first on the Poco M3. I think when I start to see which one is the best, is when I come back to the application, I see that it's not reloaded, you know. That's when I start to credit the phone. Or oh, this one still, I don't still give it time. All right, BBC. Hmm. Okay. Um, top stories. Uh, I'll leave you to play video. Don't forget, I was playing video in CNN. It's about the same time. They're both budget phone and they are doing well, to be honest.
still on the Umidi G. The Umidi is still trashing the Poco M3. Well, that is expected. 4 gig to 6 gig is not a joke. That's what it's saying now. But sometimes it doesn't matter. I'll open this up. All right. I want to play the video. Okay, I'll leave it here while the video is playing. Google help. Okay. Um, street view. Okay. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave it here. Let's see what happens. Sky Spot. Mm, it's very slow on the Poco M3. Okay, play this video. Okay, it's not that Probably is the video inside. Okay, I'll leave it here. I'll leave it here. Put it in the background. Sofa score. Put it on live football. So I'll leave it here. Um eBay. Uh, I don't need to sign in. I'm just gonna close this. Okay, um let me open this. I'm still on the poco. It's a little bit slow, but let's leave it there. So for score. Now I want to try games. You know, games is going to stress the phone. So let's try gaming now. Okay. Okay. Still, the Umi DG A9 Pro is still faster than the Poco. Play the game. Leave it there. On the Poco, you have to double tap to close it. I don't like the UI. All right, Asphalt now. Let's see which one loads first. Okay, started quickly on the Umidigi A9 Pro as usual. So it needs to download the update. I'm gonna start download the update now at the same time. I'm gonna minimize. Um, Hodge. Still the Umidi G9 Pro, and I think it's because of the 6 gig RAM. And LUP60 is not a budget processor. It's kind of a mid-range processor. So I'm gonna leave it here. Then I'm gonna wow. On the Poco, I think um is ready. Why the A9 Pro is still for some reason. I don't know how that happened. If I close this, if I close this, if I close this. Yeah, it's ready. Why this one is still compiling resources? So for the first time, the Poco came first, you know, in launching application. I don't know if I should wait or I should go to the next app. Um, okay, let me wait. Let's wait for this. So let's make sure we get to the same screen, you know, before anything. Let's just wait. You can see it's still taking a long time to finish up. This is the screen, same screen. I'm gonna leave here. I've just seen a notification as far could not be downloaded. I don't know why. Anyway, we get to see that. Maybe that's why it came first. So, this is when I want to tax the processing power of the phone. You know, now this phone is getting slow. I don't know why this is still showing in portrait. Okay, maybe. Yeah, I want to tax the processing power of the phone. I want to render a video. I've already put a video in the phone. So, it's ready to be rendered. No, I made a project, so... What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna edit the project. So I'm just gonna render the video. I'm gonna render in 1080p, full HD. So produce video. Let's see. Ah, 
Okay. So here I'm tasking the processing power of the phone because even on your computer, when you render a video, you start to hear the CPU making noise. So here is where the CPU will be started struggling, you know, if any phone at all. So for me, I think um, the Umini G A9 Pro is still doing a great job. It's a 9%, why is on the 8%? So it's just okay, 10, okay. It's just by 1% if I'm not making a mistake. But let's see, maybe anyone is going to catch up. Now, there's a big margin now, guys. There's a big margin. If you can see this. This is 52.45. So now the Umidi G is running at a high speed while the Poco is now getting sluggish. So for me, I still believe the Umidi G is a good phone compared to the Poco, even though I prefer the Poco because now look, I'm on 59, I'm 50. Now look, the Poco is on 51 and the Umidi G A9 Pro is on 62. So you can see that there's a big marginal. The marginal is expanded because this is where the phone get tasked a lot. You know, when you're running video with your phone and your computer, you know, all the processing power comes in. And don't forget, we've got a couple of applications in the background that are still running. But here, I still believe the Umidic A9 Pro is doing a good job better than the Poco. I'm not sure why. Maybe because of the 6 gig RAM or maybe because of the processor because they both run the octa core processor but it's not about octa core processor it's about the processor performance you know the processing performance of the processor so i still believe the helio p60 still is a good processor when it compares it to the snapdragon 662 so that's what i want to know i just want to know if the snapdragon because a lot of people believe snapdragon processor is better than the MediaTek processor but Sometimes it's not the case. So what I'm seeing on the screen here just proves to me that the early P60 is better than the Snapdragon 662. Not because of the RAM, no. Not because of the storage. I don't think so. I still think it comes to the processing performance. You know, that's my own belief. So now the Umidi A9 Pro is going to render the video um, in about maybe one second. And don't forget, it's still downloading. Why the Poco M3 has already given up? It said it couldn't download. I saw the notification. Now, the, with the A9 Pro downloaded the, the game, you know, the Asphalt, the A, uh, Poco M3 gave up. It couldn't download. It said failed to download because of too much task. You know, you're tasking the phone too much. Now, the Poco M3 is still doing his own rendering. Why the A9 Pro has finished ages ago. I remember I opened a product on Amazon. Let's see if we still have the product. See, for some reason, none of them could hold in the background. You know, I think it's this product, and I remember I opened it, but for some reason, none of them could open it. Um, Netflix. I didn't do anything on Netflix, did I? No, I didn't do nothing on Netflix. So, ESPN. I think I opened an article about Pep Guardiola, if I'm not making a mistake, yes, I did open the article about Pep Guardiola. Yeah, they both hold in the background, but still, the Ubiquiti A9 Pro is winning. Yeah, I think I opened something. This application, wow. You see, I left it here on the Poco, so the RAM management of the, on the Poco M3 is a little bit better than the Ubiquiti A9 Pro. I left it here. And the Poco still retaining the apps. Why this one restarted the application? On CNN, I remember I was playing a video. Okay, no, I wasn't playing a video on CNN. I opened this article. Yes, that's true. Yeah. BBC. This video, I was playing this video. I remember playing this video. But it's all right. Both of them failed. They couldn't continue the video in the background. Um, Premier League. Yeah, I was playing this video. Wow. Then again, the Poco M3 still continue playing the video as you can see on the screen. Why this one reloaded the application? I remember I was playing this video. It was this one. March preview Chelsea versus Brighton. Yeah. And look at it. See, it still continue playing in the background. So the Poco M3 RAM management is better than the Omidigi A9 Pro. Hmm. Okay. 
Google Health. I remember I was on 3D and keeps okay, it both restarted. So they kind of choose our application to to load this one too. I was playing a video. We couldn't load. So I think there's a problem with the app. So they both said apologize we couldn't look content at the moment please try again later maybe sky spot have a problem with your server um i left this in live game mode let's see this one reloaded even though it came first they both reloaded because i left it in live here i left it here i remember that um okay um what next ebay i remember leaving it on the product you know i opened the product yes the poco again still have this in the memory why on the umidi a9 pro it reloaded the application shame it's faster yes but it couldn't hold in the background and i said that is where my test will come in you know it's not about which one loaded very quickly i remember this game was playing so let's see i think they both reloaded the game they both reloaded the game yeah there's no point they both reloaded the game so there's no point wasting time here um what else here i got a notification on the poco mt that could not download the asphalt 8 yeah i got a notification so let's see did it download it i don't think so because i got a notification I could not download why this one is downloaded so yeah the game has been successfully downloaded touch the screen to start playing i have to download again so it failed on the poco it's just a bit of eat and miss for both of the phone yes um porch i left it on the splash screen wow look at it both phone reloaded the game as you can see both phone reloaded the game yeah maybe they could handle it because this is a very graphic intensive game and it can task a phone you know so they fail in that department even though i think one is going to load very quickly than the other they still fail in that department and then um, here on the um, power director i left it in the render page see it's not even loading on this oh look at that it went back to the render page and the to produce a video i think guys um if you ask me <laughs> don't forget this phone a budget phone when I used to do this, I used to compare budget phone with a flat jib device. So sometimes the result is shocking. Um, if you ask me what do I think, even though the Poco has some application in the background, in the memory, to be honest, who is going to be launching 15 applications at the same time? That's not practical. I'm not saying it's not possible. It's not practical. And I think um, both phones did well, you know, in terms of RAM management. I think I will give it to the Poco in terms of launching application very fast. I will give it to Umidi GA9 Pro. So if you ask me which one wins, I think it's a tie. If I, if I don't want to be biased, it's a tie. One is cheaper than the other. One has 6 gig RAM. If this phone has 4 gig RAM, I believe it's going to fail in many departments. I'm talking about the Umidi GA9 Pro. But 6 gig RAM is an And yeah, the 4 gig RAM can still, you know, retain some application in the memory, which is good for the Poco. So maybe if I had got a 6 gig RAM of the Poco, it would have smashed this phone. I don't know. But well, anyway, thank you guys for watching my video. I do appreciate your time. My next video is I'm going to be comparing these devices very soon. So thank you guys for watching my video. I do appreciate your time and I will see you when I make a new video. Bye and God bless.